Ladies and gentlemen, do you need to take your car maintenance, cleaning, convenience to the next level? Then this video is for you. What's going on guys? My name is Chris. I'm back with you with another unboxing and review video. This one's going to be for the, the Vitamin Car Kit. They have a lot of different kits. And just like all my videos in the description box right below the video, you're going to see the link where you guys can read more about these products. Pick them up yourself. I have the full kit, every product they do offer, but they offer smaller kits as well for different types of tools you might need for your car. Products come in a very nice hard shell case. Let's go ahead and see what set I have in front of me because I have a duplicate hard shell case right below the desk. We're gonna look at in just a second. This one in front of us right here is gonna be the car washing kit with the car vacuum and all of your attachments, hoses, filter for keeping your car nice and squeaky clean. And this kit also provides in this little zippered pouch here, this is gonna be for our pressure washer here. We have a 250 milliliter jug there. You got all of your tubing here with, this is a pop-up water washing little bucket here that collapses to be able to fit back in your pouch. And that's gonna go together with the pressure washing gun here. Now, let's look at kit number two. All right, kit number two, which I already opened up off camera. We have a battery right here. This is gonna be a 43 WH battery. 600 amp starting peak current 12 volt with a battery indicator light on the side so in this kit you have your little instruction manual right here you also have your impact wrench sockets there's three of those in sizes 17 millimeter 19 millimeter and 21 millimeter so in this kit what's really cool is you have your jump start where these come in super handy not being left behind if your battery on your car unfortunately goes out they are nice big 10 gauge wire and it plugs directly into the battery pack and recharging the battery packs is a breeze with a USB type C port on each battery. Each kit comes with its own battery. So in this kit, we have our impact wrench and our tire inflator, which we're gonna get some close-up shots here in just a little bit. And they also give you this large socket here as well. I'm not exactly sure what that is for quite yet, but just letting you know that is in the package as well. All right, here we got my Ford F-150 truck, and these nuts right here are gonna be 19 millimeter, obviously nice and snug. Go ahead and put that on your impact wrench. Again, this is maximum torque 700 M period M with the specifications that we see right here. Obviously there is forward and backwards with a light as well for nighttime. If you do unfortunately, God forbid, get a flat. Again, we're gonna go reverse as in getting them off. There we go. It took a few little crook crook and then boom, right off. And then obviously, if you guys don't know already, when you put your lug nuts back on, you wanna put them back on in a star pattern. So let's go ahead and now put it back on. And you always wanna hand thread them on first so you don't strip them. So let's go ahead and put it back on. When you hear the crrr, that means you're at full torque. No need to tighten that anymore. Very cool. I do like the interchangeable batteries as well, being able to switch it over to the entire inflator, impact wrench, locks right into place. Good to go. It is cool, the little LED light. I haven't obviously tried that out at nighttime, but it is nice that there is a small LED light there as well. Well, now it's time for the vacuum. Remember, you have all your accessory heads as well. Pivot right, left, right there for more of like maybe your floor if you spill some coffee grinds, and then your two between the seats, under the seats, etc. This does click down if you want to use that on your seats or pushes back for hard right there. And then when you're ready to dump it, push that in and knock that out just like that. Clicks back into place when you're ready to go. Our battery's inserted, let's go ahead and power it up. Go ahead and hold it down, to power it up. Click it one more time to go into a higher mode. Low mode, high mode there. Getting in between the car seats right here. This is my dad's work truck. Some of this is like pine tree stuff. That's almost like splinters that are kind of really stuck in there. So some of these bigger ones that are kind of like needles, you might have to pluck out of there. But for car spills, children eating their snacks, get all of those goodies up right there. Obviously this truck is pretty filthy. Let's see what we got so far. Let's go ahead and hold that down 
two seconds. And we can see all the nasty debris in there with a long pine needle as well. You do have your filter. Look at that, all that debris just with what, 45 seconds? Now, it's gonna be a little bit tighter of a shot because I actually need to reach in here and do this, but let's go ahead and click it back on. We're gonna need, definitely need to go in the high mode for the floor mats, but it is picking up the rocks. Let me see if I can tighten the shot. So go ahead and look right in between this area here as I go over it here. Some of those are embedded really well, but as you can see here, all those pebbles and rocks, you might have to give it a shake, but for the sand getting in those cracks, again, if you have this much, I would actually shake it before you vacuum it. But if you need to do a quick little cleaning in your car, pre uh, maybe if you do Uber or something like that, definitely nice to have. Let's go ahead and take a look in there. As we can see, a nice lot of debris. Obviously, it's not completely clean, but again, if you're doing simple spills, pickups, definitely cool. Now, let's take a look at the bucket here. Again, collapsible with the handle. And my guesstimation, that's probably about a two gallon or so, might be more, but I definitely like how it's portable and it stands up perfectly straight when there's water in there. Now, let's grab our pressure washer. I was actually playing with the pressure washer and I just wanna show you something real quickly here. So you have a down button and an up button. I noticed when I hit the down button, it goes up into the tube and then stops after a few seconds. It does not do that if you push the up button as in the top one. For some reason, there's a down one as well. That might be for suds. Don't quote me on that one, but I'm having no issues when I hit the up button when doing it. Let's get back to it. And we're gonna go ahead and crank it up here. 20 degree angle, I should say. Here we go. Let's go ahead and wash this truck a little bit. Some dirt and grime. I personally really like this. Obviously, it has power. It's not gonna have power like some of those high, crazy in pressure washers, but it's doing a great job in my opinion, being able to get all your grime and debris. And obviously what I do like is the portability as well. So the portability, being able to wash my truck, get those wheels there, the windshield with the extended wand. Obviously, if I had soap in here, it would be doing a much better job putting soap on there or foaming it with the foam where you just twist it up for foam. Here's our straight dead on shot. That actually is working really well. That would even be able to clean your porch or deck. That's pretty high pressure right there. I'm gonna go ahead and click over. I think it does a great job. It obviously won't have as much power as one of those electric plug-in ones that are super high powered, but pretty beefy for this little small battery pack. My jug is at about 40% since I started this video demonstration on camera and off camera. And I do dig the portability. I know I've already said that, but I do like that. So make a long story short, we're on a riding tractor battery right here for this next example. And the reason why is for some oddball reason, I couldn't get two cars on the property, the F-150 or the van, I couldn't lift the hood. Cables might have froze, who knows? So in this case, pop on your battery, and what this allows you to do is not have to worry about jumper cables or track somebody down in a parking lot late at night. This gives you the option to jumpstart your own car if your battery is dead. All you do again is the battery is inserted into your little cable tubing up here, simply red, black, on black and you actually have a little green symbol right here that says correct i believe if you reversed it there is actually a very small led indicator light next to that that says reverse and then you would hit boost right there to fire it up my battery doesn't need a jump so i won't hit boost but i'm just showing you the example this definitely comes in handy one of these type of devices saved my brother when we were in a parking lot didn't have any jumper cables he had a device like this he was back up and running in minutes and lastly one of my personal favorites is going to be your tire inflator not only for cars which the default 
tube goes right over your car's tires, but they give you adapters for different sports equipment, basketball, volleyballs, footballs. And then again, my personal favorite, that's why you're looking at this mountain bike, is the adapter to screw over the top of road bike inner tubes, mountain bike inner tubes. So then the adapter would act like a normal tire tube, like an automobile one. Other bikes do have the thick tubes already, so you wouldn't need this for that purpose. Let's go ahead and look at the LCD screen here on the back of the inflator. You see PSI right here, and right now it's on car. By default, it actually came in KPA. So let's go ahead and hit this. As you can see, the car. So if you wanna switch it to bicycle, different types of cars, sports equipment there, uh, we're gonna do bicycle, okay? Next, we're gonna click over. There's your KPA if you live in a different country. I don't want KPA, I want PSI. So we're gonna put it in PSI. And then 35, so this is really cool. So you can go to like a default, right? So actually I need to go down. I do, I think, um, and that would be like if you want to go up to that certain limit. I won't go up to 30. I actually need to fill up my mountain bike. I believe I go 23 in the front, 21 in the back. Don't quote me on that one. But, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. As you can see my skinny tube. I have my road bike right behind me. So this would be the exact same thing. So obviously with your skinny tubes, you wanna release the tip. So the tip is ready to go. And then with your adapter, you screw that right over the top of it. Now, because this is a review video, unfortunately with my adapter that came with my set, when I clamp it down, I'm getting a very slow, it's not tightening down all the way. I'm not really sure exactly what that is. My guess it's gonna be the adapter and the reason why I say that is because I have another adapter. Let me go ahead and screw this on here. And those adapters, even if it is a bad threaded adapter, let's say, those adapters are very inexpensive. So here I have a different adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over, clamp it down. I don't feel any air coming out. Once it turns on, then I, all I have to do is hit it once. And we'll see it go very quickly to the appropriate PSI. And right there. That's a little bit higher than I wanted. It normally comes down after you fill it up an extra PSI. And off camera, I was checking it a few times with my slime PSI gauge here, and it looks like we're slightly above 20, but I was testing it quite a few times, and so we probably lost a few PSI testing it. So I probably just have a bad adapter. Now it's working just fine testing the PSI right now. I have the extra adapter. I'll probably look into getting like a brass one or something like that, but definitely convenient having the digital PSI on the back of it right here. Well guys, we're just wrapping it up in my shop right now. Overall, the products work. We had a little mishap with our adapter, but not that big of a deal in my opinion, especially if you're not gonna use it for mountain bike skinny tubes, road bike inner tubes, etc. In the description box, again, right below the video is gonna be the link where you guys can see these products, see the different products they offer, the different packages, read more about them, Anything that I did miss in the video will be linked in the description box below. Top link is gonna be that link, but just like all my videos, guys, please don't go in the debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and these products intrigue you, go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind on your way out, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel and helps the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. Also a full 10 acre farmhouse, ranch, remodel, rebuild, shop, gym, the works. Subscribe for that if you're interested in DIY videos as well. Your links are once again right below the video. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.